Let's prelude my built 4G63 with this AccuSum. I've already blocked off all the open fitting ports with AN caps. Now we need to put on this 3 8 to dash 10, and this will be the one that feeds the AccuSump into the engine. Got some thread sealing on there. We're gonna fill the AccuSump with some braking oil. Make sure this funnel's super clean, because I don't want any debris getting into my bearings. Blow it out with compressed air as well. So we'll stand the AccuSump up, stick the funnel in it, top her off. <laughs> the air's got nowhere to go, so it's not really draining down. So this is a two-part cylinder, right? There's air pressure on this side and there's oil on this side. So maybe if I take out the, uh, the valve stem on this side, the oil will drain down a little bit easier and then put it back in and then pre-charge it. All right, round two. I'm making such a mess. <laughs> this is uh, this is not going as smooth as I'd hoped. Jesse, yo, uh, filling this AccuSump is not going as smooth as I'd hoped. Uh, I'm trying uh -oh. to I'm trying to fill it on the bench, and I've barely gotten half a quarter into the thing. Is there any way you can put like um, like a vacuum on where the Schrader valve is? I took the Schrader valve out and hoping the oil would help push it down more. Somehow rig up some kind of way to suction it out. I feel haven't you done this before? Where you pre-filled an AccuSump? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you making a mess? I am making an absolute mess. Okay, so what we're gonna try out is I'm going to add some vacuum to the straighter valve on the backside to try and get the piston to suck more to this end. That way we can fill it with more oil. All right, so I got it up to 15 inches of mercury. We'll crack this, hopefully not a bunch shoots out. Nice, definitely had a vacuum on it. Nice, it's taking more oil, that's awesome. Let's keep going, on to the second bottle. That feels good, there's there's about two quarts in here now. Put the straighter valve back in on the air side. We'll get that snug down. Okay, so that's about 16 PSI in there right now. Okay, so the valve cover is just bolted on for right now. And I want to take it off. When I open the valve on the AccuSump and let the oil into the block, I actually want to see the oil make it all the way through up the block to the head and coming out of the hydraulic lifter. So I just thoroughly brake cleaned and blew out this line with compressed air that I have here. And we're going to hook it up. Snug these lines down, good. Moment of truth, we're going to open the valve. Pressure dropped. We'll watch it in the head. So we're gonna take the straighter valve out again. Now we're gonna hit it with compressed air and try and get the oil moving. There we go, go look in the engine. All right, so I'm wondering if this port that I used for the AccuSump only feeds back to the pan and doesn't feed the oil galleries like I thought. So we're gonna take off this drain plug and see if all the oil went into the pan. Well, yep, looks like all the oil went into the pan. Really, really would like to pre-lube this block because when I built this block, it sat through the summer and there were times where I'd come out and I would see my engine assembly, the Permatech stuff, all red and leaked out onto the ground. We'll take this line off. We'll cap it with a dash 10 cap. Take this old one off. That has a dash four. <sighs> Thread sealing on this other. It's a 3.8 NPT to dash 10. It's 24. So. <laughs> I'm gonna try and catch all the oil that's in the pan back into the AccuSump because I don't currently have my turbo oil drain line on and if I pu keep putting too much oil in the pan, it will start leaking out on that side. How much freaking oil is in this thing, my God. So we'll go ahead, we'll top this thing off with a little bit more oil, get her nice and full. So that's full now. Let's, let's go to 40 PSI because we're gonna lose a bunch when we take this thing off. I need to quickly get this off to lose as little air as possible. Oh, 
Okay, so it dropped down to 30. So we got about 30 in the gauge. That's not bad, I like that. Gonna run a little bit of a shorter line this time. So we're gonna hook the AccuSump back up. We're gonna crack open the line on the AccuSump again, and hopefully this time, oil gets pushed up through the lifters in the head. Nice, I can hear it. Okay, so a couple days later, we're back out here trying it again. I consulted with a couple people in the EVO community, and I actually was tapping into the wrong port with the AccuSump, and it seems, talking to guys who run AccuSumps successfully, it is this back under port over here is the one to go with. So I'm plugged into that, and I'm hoping, moment of truth, baby, let's see this push out the oil galleries in the head. We're gonna crack the AccuSump. It's feeding the block, ooh. Those are different noises than last time. So it legitimately sounded like it actually was pushing through the galleries that time compared to before. All right, so there's still oil in here. We're gonna put compressed air through it. Oh, it's actually coming out of the galleries on that one. Let's see if we can replicate it because I actually saw it on these ones. There you go. coming out right there. We're out here round four. I have drained the pan again. I filled the AccuSump back up all the way again. And this time, I actually got a air hose, that air chuck that does quick disconnect. That way when I pull it off from here, I'm not losing any air pressure. Cause I think I want more than 30 PSI. I probably want to try and get as much PSI in here as I can. That way I know it pushes to the galleys. I got 100 PSI in there this time. This should push it all the way through. I'm feeling good this time, so we're gonna hit the lever. Nice. This is actually a great sign here. It made out the turbo oil feed. And as you can see, it's dripping all down the block. That's good. All right, so we got another 100 PSI, pre-filled it with another two quarts. We're gonna crack it open again. Also this time I blocked off that turbo oil feed so hopefully none leaks out there and more pushes out the galleries. There we go. Hey, it's actually coming out. I can see it a little bit. Figuring this out was a battle, but I'm glad I pushed through and I call this a win in my book. Finding the right port and the right amount of pressure was all trial and error. But as you guys saw, it did come out of the lifters just a little bit. I believe if that was a either three or four liter AccuSump, we would be seeing much better results, but I'm only limited to the two liter one I have right now. If I were to get a proper pre-lubing tank, which is something that works very similar to it, you pour like four or five quarts of oil into it, and then you pressurize it, and then you open it, and it fills the galleries just like I'm doing, but that all comes down to finding the right port, and that back vertical one is the right port, that lubes the oil galleries. This video didn't go perfect, but I pushed through and I hope you enjoyed the process. Make sure you follow along, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future videos. Y'all have a good one now. Peace out.